So today we're going to be talking about autoimmune retinopathies. And these are autoimmune inflammatory optic neuropathies that are presumed to be antibody mediated. And it can be a retinopathy, an optic neuropathy, or both. So when it's an autoimmune inflammatory retinopathy, that's called AIR, autoimmune inflammatory retinopathy. And this inflammatory response is against some antigen. And if the antigen happens to be a cancer, we call that a perineoplastic autoimmune inflammatory retinopathy. And so that's pair, perineoplastic anti -inflam uh, autoimmune inflammatory retinopathy. And the cancers that we see are CAR, cancer associated retinopathy, usually small cell carcinoma of the lung, but it can be lymphoma, or a whole bunch of other cancers, really any cancer. And MAR, which is melanoma associated retinopathy. Both of these pairs are perineoplastic. On the other side is the non-pair. It's still autoimmune, inflammatory, and retinopathy, but it's not from cancer, and so it's a non-pair. And you should know that the, the way to make the diagnosis of the non-pair is make sure it's not the pair. That means you have to make sure there's no cancer. You have to have the antibodies. You have to have no other diagnosis, and it can't be inflammatory or degenerative retinal disease from some other cause. So it's kind of a diagnosis of exclusion. You have to exclude the other causes because you cannot rely on the presence of these antibodies to make the diagnosis because those antibodies are present in people who have other retinal diseases because the retina is an immunoprivileged site and exposing it to trauma or surgery or inflammation will generate antibodies. So you have to have no cancer, you have to have the antibodies, it's a diagnosis of exclusion, and you have to prove it's retinal because usually the retina looks normal. And so we have to do an ERG. In the cone version of it, you have to do MERG, but full field ERG is probably sufficient for non-pair and pair. And so for CAR and MAR, there are a little bit of subtle differences, but there are mostly similarities. They tend to be both bilateral and symmetric as opposed to non-pair, which is often asymmetric or frankly unilateral. It's gonna be slowly progressive, but CAR is faster, weeks to months, Mars slower, years. CAR patients don't know they have cancer, so you have to look with PET, PET scan or CAT scan. Mars patients know they have melanoma. They have the typical features that are associated with retinal disease, and you can watch that video. The retinal symptoms are photopsias, which is flashing lights, the ring scotoma, which means it's a scotoma where you can put your finger, the ring finger right through the middle of it, or it can be a central scotoma. And the photopsis is often described as swirling lights. And in both CAR and MAR, the fundus is normal. However, over time, there'll be arterial narrowing, optic atrophy, uh, RPE change, and that can be visible on OCT. But in the beginning, it doesn't look like anything. It looks like a normal fundus. And the ERG is slightly different between CAR and MAR. Normally in CAR, it's just flat or markedly reduced amplitude. In MAR, it's the B wave that's down. So normally you got a uh, hyperpolarized A wave followed by a depolarized B wave in your standard ERG. And this represents a photoreceptor in A and B is all the other cells, bipolar and Mueller cell. And in MAR, you have no B wave, so the B wave is depressed. So both in MAR and in non-pair, non-pair neoplastic, you have the decreased B wave version. But non-pair and CAR have a flat ERG. Those are the same between. So really, you just got to look at the A wave, the B wave, see if it's flat or not, and see if the B wave is present or absent. And we're going to do the antibodies in CAR and MAR. Those antibodies in CAR are uh, often directed against specific targets. The one we're worried about in CAR is called recovering but there's enolase, and they have different molecular weights, 23 kilodalton, 40 kilodalton, 46 kilodalton. MAR is against the bipolar cell antibody, and non-pair is just non-specific, and it might be carbonic anhydrase inhibitor, it might be enolase, it might be just a number, like 42 or some, some kilodalton weight. Treatment's the same, either antibody against the antibody, IVIG, wash the antibody out, plasma exchange, or suppress the antibody production with immunosuppression, rituximab, methotrexate, whatever you got. Steroids in the first line, and make sure there's no other inflammatory, infectious, or infiltrative disease before you call it air.
pair or non-pair.